Today, we are going to talk about the 10 top rising NFL, gridiron, football, pigskin cards that have gone up in the past week. How's that sound to you? It's pretty interesting, actually, what we found. Uh, before we get into that, I will remind you of the Sports Card Society, where almost every day I send an exclusive video to my members outlining a specific sports card investment pick and all the research, etc., and the exit strategy. I put a lot into those videos. Uh, for instance, about a month ago, I was recommending the Nikola Jokic Prism uh, PSA 10. Uh, you see December 4th went for, we were getting them for around 400 bucks. Actually, I was getting it for around 350 a little before that. Uh, today, <clears throat> the Joker... It's going for, looks like he had one go for about 950 bucks, so that's a pretty solid return in uh, a month or a little over a month. I was also recommending the Select Courtside John Morant PSA 10. Latest one of those went for almost 2300 bucks. I was recommending that back in mid to late October, early November. Um, you see we're getting it for around 700 bucks. Uh, so a lot of good stuff there. Plus members of the society get 20-day PSA grading for just $25. If you go on the PSA website, you'll see that they have 25-day grading for $50. So, yeah, would you rather have 20-day grading for $25 or 25-day grading for $50? Your call. And uh, also, society members are able to message me on Instagram and email, and, and I respond to every single one. All right, let's dive into this. Give me a like, by the way. I really appreciate it, homeboys and homegirls. And let's hit the subscribe button. Come on, go ahead. Hit it. Subscribe. You want this stuff. You want to know when it comes out. <laughs> all right, let's dive in. We're going to be here in the Market Movers tool to look up all this data. And apparently I need to re-log in. So I'm going to cut this. Here's Lee. Really need to re-log in. I remember what my, there we go. It rarely logs me out. So let's pull all that back up by, should we go by, I said we were gonna do by card. So let's do by card. Football, football. And we're only gonna look at the PSA 10s because if I look at the raw cards, they can go kinda wonky because you know when you when you're buying when when raw cards sell their price can be all over the place because if you know if someone's looking at one and they're buying one it's got some ding corners they're going to pay a lot less for it than they're going to pay for one with good corners it looks like it could actually worth getting be worth getting graded watch out for my tongue twisters because i can't seem to talk today anyways so i'm in the market movers tool i'll leave a link to this in the description uh, use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month of your first year. Highly suggest getting that year because then you get 20% off 12 months instead of just one month. And I definitely recommend getting the full version of Market Movers over the light version. There's just some data tools in there that I cannot live without, man. All right. So here we are. Over the last seven days, Mr. Deion Sanders, 1989 Tops Traded Base PSA 10, seems to be the top gaining card in the last seven days with 10 sales of it, 10 sales, average sale of 153, minimum, maximum. All right. That's what's nice. Is I can just click this little button here and here we go. I'm going to, it's pulling up his chart automatically for me. And over here I can go pick crap loads of players in all sports, crap loads of different cards, crap loads of different variations of those cards, crap loads of different grades, including raw. Um, that's how the Mark Movers tool works. Uh, so apparently this card has, there are 1,483 of these babies in existence. So this is interesting when I look at this chart. <clears throat> Overall, it does seem that it's slightly going up over the last three months, but it is kind of all over the place. Like there it is for 105, right after 182. And what's interesting about this, because it's actually graded, so typically the chart isn't as up and down like this. Interesting. But right now, it does not look like a time to buy according to this chart. See, that's why this tool, one of the reasons this tool is so important, because I'm looking at it here, and I can realize it's at a high for the last three months. Uh, so this is not the time to buy. When it gets down to, like, here, good time to buy, because this is what it does show me, is this card tends to go up and down, up and down and up. But overall, it tends to go up slightly over time. 
So this is a good card to buy, just not right now. When this card gets down to mm, 120 bucks or less, I'll be recommending this card to my society. I'm going to note that. You can click this button here too and see what's up for sale on eBay. There's this nice refined search up here. 11 bids, eight days left on that one. Well, I'm not gonna keep an eye on it because I'm not that interested in this card today because of what I just told you, what I just found out in the Marketing Wars tool actually. Um, 160, nope. See, it's up there, they're, they're going all high and people aren't gonna buy this for a while. And then these people are going to slowly decrease their prices. And then this will whittle its way back down to, you know, 120 bucks, 125 bucks or less. And then I'll be buying and I'll be recommending it to my society and showing them this exact chart as to why. Um, all right. The next card, I'm going to hurry this up a bit. I just wanted to really dive in there quick on Dion to show you what we'll be looking at, but we're going to go quick here. So Baker Mayfield, that makes sense. He won a playoff game, beat the freaking Steelers, and Ben, uh, I don't know. I don't know how much Baker beat them or how much Ben beat them. Like, Ben threw for 500 yards, but he threw those three picks that were just horrendous. Anyway, so this card's on average going for about 190. I, I can tell you right now, I'm not buying this card. Not right now. No way. Let's look at the chart. Let's look at the chart. The chart knows all. You know that it's been going up for the most part? No way. I mean, I think, <clears throat> listen, Baker's got to play the Chiefs today. Who are you taking? <laughs> Baker or Mahomes? Huh? The Browns or the Super Bowl defending Chiefs? <laughs> Jarvis Landry, love him. I think he's a great player. But I'm taking Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So... I, I would actually really like the Browns to win. I would love the Chiefs to lose. If you're a Chiefs fan, I'm sorry. It's not personal. It's not like I hate the Chiefs or I, or I don't like Mahomes. I like all of them. But what I like is if the Chiefs lose right now, Mahomes cards are going to tank for a bit and it's going to create a buying opportunity. That's what I care about. Because none of those are my team. I'm a Vikings guy, so I'm used to never winning anyways, literally. Um, so, also, I would like to see the Browns win because they are even worse than the Vikings at all, at almost all times. Um, so, no, I'm not buying Baker right now. I think I think Baker's going to drop back down to around this, honestly. Um, and this is his select. I like I like this too. I like that it's his select, not his prism. 177. Although the prism pop count on this is probably not real huge because it's not like it's basketball or something. So, not as many Baker Mayfields get great. Although he had the great rookie year, I don't know. But all I know is I'm not buying this card for over 50 bucks. So if I'm a buyer, it'll be when this card gets back down to that price, which I believe it will. Mr. Aikman, this could be different. Let's look at his chart. He's a legend. He's a Hall of Famer. He's a Super Bowl winner. That stuff matters. He can tear his ACL and it doesn't affect this at all. Yep. So looking at his chart, overall, he's kind of slightly going down over time. You see that dotted line? Again, this is the Market Movers tool. Link is in the description. Use code SIDI for 20% off first month, first year. Highly recommend that year, boy or girl. Uh, there are all kinds of people that like sports cards. Because it's fun. It's a game. It is profitable. It is. Well, that pretty much sums it up, right? It's profitable. It's fun. And it involves sports. So that's where we're at. So it looks like this one's kind of at a high. So again, this is a card that I'd be buying down here sub 80 bucks if I were to buy it Aikman you know you think him being an announcer would like give him more notoriety etc more fandom but he's boring he's boring he's boring him and Joe Buck I I I'd never really like them doing it I never like them announcing a game they're boring they're so boring so boring and I feel like they're always talking straight smack about my team <laughs> Like, I do. Maybe you feel that. I, most people I talk to, they feel like Aikman and Buck are talking smack about their team. Unless it's Aaron Rodgers because they just stroke his pole. Just stroke, 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 stroke. And you know how much I love the Packers being a Vikings fan. Next guy. Tom Brady. Oh, they, they stroke this guy just as much. Oh, Tom. Oh. Oh, Tom. Oh. Like, calm down, Buck. Aikman. Chill out. <laughs> Let me tell you what I really think. <laughs> All right. Tom Brady's 
2000 Skybox Impact. I don't even care that this is at a high right now. I'd probably buy it, but I won't. So I think there's a decent chance. I'll tell you what. This kind of depends right now if you're buying or, sell, or buying or, or waiting or selling or holding, whatever, what you think the Bucks are going to do in the playoffs. If you think Tom Brady, if Tom Brady wins a Super Bowl, stuff's going to get crazy. The day he wins a Super Bowl and then after that, everything's going to go down. But if he's going to lose today or, I mean, this weekend, then this card's just going to go down. They're all going to go down. Just for a little bit, and then I'll be buying. You know, this card just over the last three months has done nothing but go up overall. At a hit a low for some reason of 650 back here, and now it's up here with a sale of 1200. So that's pretty solid. Let's see what that card looks like. Oh, it's that one. Man, he's not even. He's in his Michigan. What is he wearing? Is this Michigan? The. Blank. I mean, what is this? Where'd you get that? Where? What were you doing that you wore this? There's nothing on it. Interesting. Hmm. 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 Okay. Well, that's Tommy. I would. I would wait to buy that card. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna buy that right now. It's at a high for the last three months. In reality, you know what? Let's pull that back up. Let's go to. Let's set a even further out date. We're gonna go all the way back to like here. We're, we're like we're like over a year. I don't know if Mark Moose has. Yeah, look at that. Overall, it's just gone up. This is probably about when he announced, "I'm going to the books." Well, no, that was right before the season started. So this card gets charted all the way back to about a year ago. No, no, it's over a year ago. And then this is August, which has been kind of flat, and then kind of going up here a bit at the end. But overall, it's been going up, obviously, from early 2020. 300 bucks, I wish. Wish I would have not been asleep at the wheel on that one. This is Brady. He's a legend. You just buy that. Deshaun, he's been going up because he's been in the news a bunch. I wouldn't be buying this either right now. I, I will probably buy it. But uh, just football cards, I'm just not buying right now. Because there's just, they're, they're, listen, they're going to go down. They're going to go down. They're going to go down in the next month. But when the Super Bowl is over, they're all going to go down. They're all going to go down for a bit. And then I'm going to buy. Okay. So this Deshaun Watson, 350, when a couple months ago I could have got it for 60 bucks. I'm not I'm not buying right now. I'm not buying any football cards. But nonetheless, it's important to look at them. Mahomes, now this one is interesting. Goodness. Whew. Nine. Oh, this one. If he wins the Super Bowl, it's gonna push 10 grand. Easy beans. I don't know. The question is, when's a bad time to buy Mahomes? I don't know. But I do know that right now this card is going to go down after this. I, my guess is obviously that they win the Super Bowl, but I don't want them to. I want them to lose this weekend so that his cards just go down lower than they would ever go down if he won the Super Bowl. If he wins the Super Bowl, they're going to go down after that, but they're not going to go down near as far as if he loses this weekend. And they will go down much further. And I'll be like, yes. I might finally be able to pull up enough cash to buy a freaking Mahomes rookie. Because this pushing 10 grand right now, like, get out of here. I'm just, it's not, because it's going to go down, okay? That's what I got for you. That's my that's my opinion, but that's also what history shows us. Barry, probably my favorite running back of all time, even though I'm not a Lions fan. He was just so amazing to watch. Slowly going up over time. This is 89, pop count of 4,336. I'm surprised that many exist. Wow. Um, this is a card that this one doesn't bother me so much. I might buy this one. I mean, I think I'd rather get it for 150 than 175. You can probably go out there and make an offer. Let's put it up on eBay and see what's up for sale. Cause this this is a, this is a legend. This is 11 minutes, so so that's that what that's bid up to. Sometimes auctions are good, sometimes you're not. Doesn't that sum up a lot of things in life? All right, 159, 168, 174, 175. Went in 189, make an offer. Maybe you can get this for 100 and we can talk this guy down to 130 bucks. Maybe you can go, hey, dude, what's your Instagram? Let me message you on Instagram and then you can work out a deal. You know what I'm saying? You can maybe do that too. But I'll, I actually like this card. I'll put a link in the description for this this search up here. So you don't need to type all this in to find this stuff. Because uh, I, I like how Market Movers pulls up this nice refined search for me to really whittle out a lot of the junk. This, so this is a nice refined search. I'll put this in the link or link in the description for you for you to just be able to click and go to eBay and look at this. But you can email, like, you can really message any of these people 
and say, hey, uh, what's your IG? Or would you be willing to, you know, buy this off eBay? Because then they don't have to pay the 10% seller's fee. And uh, you probably don't have to pay sales tax. I'm not saying that's okay or not. Um, what I typically do to avoid sales tax, I have the card sent to PWCC when I buy on eBay. But yeah, sometimes when I buy from people straight off eBay um, or off Instagram, I'm not necessarily paying sales tax. They don't charge it to me, and it's I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if that's the deal or or what. I don't know what what the rules are there. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I do know that it, off eBay, more negotiable. But nonetheless, you come in here, you can just make offers on these. You just make an offer. Come here, make an offer at one thirty. Start negotiating. Depends how you feel because it's a little bit more risk when you buy off of eBay. Obviously, because eBay just gives you more inherent protections than buying from someone straight up on Instagram or something. Even if it's an eBay seller, Baker Mayfield again. Yeah, he's been going up a lot this week. His select concourse silver PSA ten. Whoo, we doggy. Oh, there was a spike. Who people liked Baker on Christmas. Jeez, I think that's when they locked in the playoff berth. And this card did not spike that much after beating Big Ben. I am, uh, huh, I'm surprised by that. Just kind of slowly going up. And Deshaun Watson again, not to be too surprising. Let's pull this card up. A little under 2,000 of these in existence. Mm, good stuff. And, of course, he's just really been going up. This is going to go back down. I think it's going to go back down to around 500 bucks, maybe even less. Um, be on the lookout. I'm in no hurry to buy football cards, generally speaking. And then Mahomesy. Mahomesy! Patrick! You know what bothered me a bit? Let me tell you. Just listen up. Listen up, children. Uh, <laughs> like, Mahomes earlier in the year was playing on, like, Monday Night Football. And who are the announcers? Oh, my God. Well, I can't think of his name. Um, he was on, God, he was on NFL Live, he was on Sports Center all the time. What is his name? Bald headed guy, used to play kind of a somber tone. What the hell is his name? Anyways, he kept calling him Pat Mahomes. And Patrick's, Patrick Mahomes' mom kept posting on Twitter or whatever, like, I'm going to go nuts if he calls him Pat again. Because I guess that's, they call his dad Pat and they call him, and they call, you know, this guy right here, Patrick. And it drove her nuts. And I was like, lady, shut your mouth. What? How fortunate are you that your son is where he is and he's got primetime television talking about him? How how spoiled are you right now? Can you just be happy? That just pissed, it's like bothered me. Like, are you kidding me? You Do you have anything else to complain about, lady? That's how I felt about it. Leave a comment below if you remember what I'm talking about. Leave a comment below. Tell me what the the Monday night announcers, one of the, oh, what is his name? Dang. Anyways, doesn't matter. But that's why I was like, really? He's calling Pat. Just chill out, lady. That's what I got. That's what I got. I don't know. How do you feel? All right, Patrick. Pat. <laughs> uh, I'm going to wait for these cards to go down, too. Hopefully he loses this weekend. And it just goes, Boop. I'm going to keep repeating it. Not that I'm going to buy right away, but it'll just send it into a further fall. But overall, these are the NFL, the top, the top 10 NFL cards that rated and graded in the PSA 10 that went up in the past seven days. Uh, we had what? One, two, really three, but two, three, wait, one, two, three. We had three legends, three Hall of Famers, uh, and everyone else is an active player, although Tom Brady, you could kind of put him anywhere because he's obviously going to be a Hall of Famer. He's already a legend. There's not really anything he could do to screw that up. So kind of four. So you see the mix and match here of like active players and Hall of Fame players, right? Um, I think Hall of Fame players in the NFL, their cards, um, I think they're still undervalued. And I think that the overall market is going to get to them eventually. But I think that they're good buy and holds. But not today. Wait till the season's over. Like, you know, late February, sometime in March. Again, I would say just watch the charts, but you need the market movers tool. I put the link in the description for it. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off. That's what I'll be doing is I'll be watching their charts in the market movers tool. And when it gets to a certain spot compared to their past, you know, like I said, that's Dion. 
Blue. Prime time. Dion. Like when this card, if it ever gets down to like, well, basically I'm looking to buy this card under 100 bucks, but maybe 120 or less. When it gets down to that, and it's like February, March, you'd be like, yeah, that's probably about the bottom. I'll buy it. But if it dips down lower than that, I'll know because I can look at this chart and know where it is in relative to its past because it's already been up here. So I know it's going to go back up there at some point. So if I buy it down here at 120, I know it's going to get back up to at least 180, probably 200 within the year. So that's the way I do it. That's the way I would recommend doing it. But anyways, also a link in the description for sportscardsociety.com to join the membership group. It's only $9.99 a month. You get an exclusive video from me almost every day. Um, and discount PSA grading and you get to message me on, on Instagram. And uh, I'm also going to be putting together a private group for for members to talk amongst each other. You know, probably a private IG page or maybe a private Facebook group, something like that. I'm not, I don't know how to use Discord. I'm not going to learn a new medium. I think Instagram or Facebook is going to be plenty fine for people to interact with each other. I, I don't really, I don't want to learn Discord. I just don't. Um, unless you make a comment saying why I should, and then I will consider it. But anyways, all the links in the description. Like this video, please. I really appreciate it. Let's give a high five. Thank you. That was wonderful. That was one of the best high fives I've ever had. And uh, subscribe. Learn when my hotness videos come out. <laughs> All right. Enjoy football today. Stay classy. You're awesome.